Hey, the last thing I want to say tonight, um, kind of interesting. I was watching some of, I think they're called the Cartier Brothers, and they did an interview with Vivek Ranswamy. Now, um, I guess a lot of people are talking about the presidential debate. I know, like, this is about half and half in international audience and Americans. Um, if you're in America, um, actually, if you're really anywhere right now, especially if you're a woman who's, like, um, watching my channel, I wonder, like, what are the issues that are important to you? Like, what are the things that you care about? Like, for me, I, I care a lot about, like, student debt. That's pretty important. Um, Health care is pretty important. And, um... Let's see, like healthcare, student debt. Uh, I mean, housing is important, but I don't really see a solution to subsidizing it. I just, I feel like people are going to have to live where they can afford to live. Like, that, I think that that's probably the solution there. Um, but um, I don't think, like, okay, so here's what I hear. I think that Vivek Ranswamy is the most palatable Republican candidate but unless Trump won, w runs and I don't know if he can or I don't I don't really know unless Trump w runs I don't see a Republican winning um unfortunately even though I think that Vivek could be great I think a lot of his policies could be great I think he's like out of touch with um most Americans um and what I mean by that is like there even though I feel like he started his company in California so like he like he knows he knows about what the like the liberal like wokeism wokeism and all that shit like he knows that those people exist but like I don't think I feel like the right they're doing a little bit too much to like hyper focus on I don't feel like it's even conservative issues because I do feel like the things that he said were pretty pragmatic and covered a lot. Um, I see another Democratic president coming into office just for a lot of reasons. I feel like we've been watching some pretty extreme shit happen. Um, there's a lot about like the economy, um, jobs, really people trying to like there have been people who have really been trying. And what I mean by that is like people who are working, people who like have families, who want to have families, people who basically just want to have like a decent form of life. And um, it's it's the comma, it's the, uh, I saw a Jubilee interview with like Antifa people and they were kind of talking about like why they need to do the extreme shit that they're doing. And a lot of it is like this, like it's identity politics in a lot of ways. And I don't know if that's necessarily, like, a bad thing. I don't think the identity politics is a bad thing. But I also feel like um, the Republicans just don't care about the identity politics at all. And the problem with not caring about the identity politics at all is that you're, you're kind of trying to, like, erase almost half the country. And, like, half the country really cares about identity politics. So that's why I just don't see a Republican candidate winning. I also thought it was just, it was very interesting because a lot of people who are struggling with identity politics on the left, um, mental health is this, th like, here's the thing. I feel like there's people, people who have actually gone to therapy. Um, I feel like all of those people seem to understand or can talk about the problems that we're facing as a society and everyone else seems to be like ignoring the problems which is weird like how are you ignoring problems that are like here that like everybody knows about and like sees and like you don't like you don't care about it so what Vivek was saying is he wants to like shut down the department of education <laughs> <laughs> he was like cancel this the teachers union shut down the fbi um he was like open mental institutions and put people back in he was talking about like the direct correlation between like mental illness and school shootings um 
I don't know. Like, and then he was talking about school vouchers. Like, some of the stuff, some of his solutions make sense. Um, some of it I think is interesting. For some reason, I feel like there's this ploy to like just put an Indian person in office. Like, we have Kamala Harris there now. I don't see the purpose of her. She seems useless. Vivek Ranswamy. I mean, he seems like person perfectly rational to an extent. Um, that's a thing where American rationalism. I got to take it with a grain of salt in a, in a in a sense because like you just have to really see both sides. And if you honestly see both sides, you would have to see how right now we don't have a solution. And kind of like we've never really had a solution, but there's no real way for you to like see both sides and then be like it's all good. And they're like there's a whole bunch of people who there's a lot of people who don't care, who don't directly who are not directly impacted by issues like so he mentioned san francisco portland seattle chicago all these cities that are basically dealing with like urban decay poverty drug drug use all this stuff there's a class of people who can just move away from that like as soon as that starts happening they can just move away and they will just move away and they won't deal with those issues anymore and that is how it will be. There's other people who like those issues come to par and they will have to like stay. Because they, they don't have another option. And like those people really have to stay in those places. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's because they don't have, like, the money to move. And that's a real problem. That's, like, a real issue. Um, I don't know. It's not bipartisan. And it's also, like, I wonder who are the people, like, if he's opening these, like, mental institutions, who are the people that he's going to put in? Cause that that's the same thing that San Francisco is proposing, and I'm 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 really trying to understand. Are they? There's a real thing. Like if you have people who are on the streets using drugs, because the a lot of the people who are accessing therapy are people who have like jobs and apartments and like I don't know people who are just like living with their families, college students. There's all of these different people, right, who are like struggling with their mental health for a a variety of reasons, like. If you live in this society and like your entire life you grew up in a particular way and then you you kind of like step into adulting and you see like I feel like maybe so I don't know if I have like a youthful audience yet I don't really feel like I do um I feel like I have pretty much an adult audience right now but I wonder if you guys experience this like when you as you make this transition from like adolescence like living with your parents you know, them still kind of, like, supporting you to, like, you moving on your own where, like, you now are supporting yourself. And you start to see all of this shit in society. Like, you have to start to interact with, like, agencies. You have to start to interact with, like, the workforce. Like, all of these things where there's already adults there who, like, quite literally, like, don't give a shit about your identity politics, things that you might be struggling with, like, the way that you see the world, so, like, let's say that, like, you are a person with, like, you have blue hair or something. And you have to work with a conservative person. Now they see you as, like, some some weirdo leftist liberal or some shit. And they have all these opinions about you. And they're like, oh, I don't want to work with her. Or I don't know if you're a person who's, like, really conservative and wide or something. And then now you have to work with, like, just like a an extremely like left person who's like anti like me for instance right I'm like super I'm not super left but I'm pretty like pro abortion you know anti children like just I'm like all the things that are kind of like against that but I don't I don't think I'm like insufferable to like work with I don't really feel like that but our ideologies are not really aligned like I don't believe I don't support a lot of the measures like politically right that, that other people stand for and that's that's really hard because a lot of them have to do with like the way that society is going to move forward and I feel like this next election will be 
uh, heavily that it would be it's like an ideology presidency. And I think that the Republicans just don't have enough push. They don't have enough. There's just not enough people who care enough about conservative traditional values to overpower kind of like the democratic establishment that's already there and has moved so far so fast and made so much uh headway like the democratic ideologies are really running society like every corporation every everything and you know i thought that i was democratic and i was liberal like that but the the liberal elites are a different class they're like the pe they're, they're like the the harvard people who are they're really really smart but they are just very um i don't know if there's a way to describe all of them but i i don't see them voting republican at all like i i highly doubt that's going to happen and there are so many of them and they have a lot of power so as great i guess as vivek ramaswamy believes that he is and all the conservatives believe that he is I just don't I don't see the power in numbers coming to like support him um in terms of and I and overthrowing all of those uh really old institutions I think would be a big blow to kind of like American traditionalism I think it might be useful like Half of the organizations that he talked about shutting down, I think would be a really good idea because they don't like contribute much um, of it at all, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I think it's interesting to watch. I don't actually know if I'm going to vote for anyone. There's no candidate who I've seen who was interesting enough for me to vote for and I couldn't pull myself to vote for an Indian guy so I probably won't be voting at least not for a president but I'll probably vote for local policies so I just wanted to say that yeah